Well, good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. We are in Connecticut, and who likes Pez? Days of Jordan the Lion, it begins right now. Oh yeah, we are at the home of Pez, the Pez Visitor Center. And what a heck of a way to decorate the outside of the building, huh? <laughs> Big giant Pez packs of candy. That's right, what's not to love about Pez? I mean, the candy itself is great, the Pez dispensers, I think, is the most ingenious thing because you can put any kind of novelty. I mean, there, there's countless. I've been to places that decorate their entire establishment with different Pez dispensers. So there's just endless different ways of enjoying Pez. And it's kind of cool. You just lift the head of this little dispenser, usually like a clown or Scooby-Doo or, hey, I've even seen Gene Simmons of Kiss on one. And out comes your candy. Let's see what they have inside. As soon as you come in, they have an entire wall of different Pez dispensers, as well as benches made out of Pez candy. <laughs> Alright, it's $5 admission. Let's go and explore. They also give you $2 in store credit and a lanyard to wear. Wow, as soon as you walk in, they've already got the holiday displays out. And look, they've got a giant Pez dispenser with a button. And we just made him work. Look at that, the Pez popping out. <laughs> that is awesome. We actually have a Pez scavenger hunt. So you take one of these cards, and it looks like you write down the message from underneath each one of these as you find them. And here's their wall of history, including 1927, the inventor, Edward Haas III, invents Pez candy as an adult breath mint and an alternative to smoking. And then the name Pez comes from the word, the German word for peppermint. Peppermints. Taking the P, the first letter, the E from the middle, and the Z from the last. Aha, and that is our original Pez dispenser. Originally introduced in 1949, Vienna Trade Fair, because it was originally in Austria. It says in 1950, Pez started US operations in New York City, and these are some of the original Pez dispensers. And it also says in 1956, Pez introduced an innovative dispenser called the Space Gun. And the Halloween Witch was the very first traditional character for the head dispensers. And Popeye was the first licensed character. These are from the 60s. These are from the 70s. And then these are from the 80s. Let's see the Smurfs in there. Winnie the Pooh. And then it says that Pez was continuing to grow and the first ever collector's convention happened in Mentor, Ohio in 1991. And these are 1990s Pez dispensers. Here they're saying 2006, they did a Orange County Choppers Pez dispenser bundle. And then these are 2000s Pez dispensers. And that's an interesting one because Hello Kitty is stuffed. Princess Leia. This is really cool. They're actually saying these are future Pez that we're going to see coming soon. I like them. I like the styles they're going with. Mandalorian. Here they're showing when you can buy cereal that come with a themed Pez dispenser. So there's the Cocoa Puffs Bird is in that one that you get. The Lucky Charms Leprechaun. The Cheerios Honey Bee. And then these are all various kinds of Pez dispensers. Those are all animals in those cases. These are all sports. You've got Stanley Cup, you've got hockey, hockey pups, 
baseball, college football. Special Charlie Brown Cubs dispensers. And then look over here, you can kind of see into the factory. It doesn't look like anything's going on today, but. Check out this vault they have over here of special memorabilia. Oh, this case is great. Take a look at this. We have a Colonel Sanders prototype right there. <laughs> and another Colonel Sanders. Golden Pez boxes. Mary Poppins. Golden Pez Dispenser Awards. Look at those. Those are crystal hands holding eyeballs. This place is great. Pez Space Guns. Wait, these are all presidents. Presidential Pez Dispensers. Look at all that beautiful Pez. Oh, there's one of the scavenger hunt. Oh, look at this on the floor. It's actually in the floor. <laughs> Hi Snoopy. Oh, there's Santa Claus. Hello Kitty. Look at all those Pez dispensers in there. There's more inside the factory. That's kind of cool. You can see over here in the packaging area they have some of the dispensers. And this is cool. Big piece of Pez over here, and the dispensers all over the place. Oh, there you put your head in there and you become a Pez dispenser. Oh, look at that, Huckleberry Hound. And over here you can hand select what candy pieces you want. Wow, those are giant. Look how big that is compared to my fist. This is really cool. This is all photos of celebrities holding an Elvis Pez dispenser. <laughs> You're talking my language. Especially, probably the best Elvis in a movie ever. Kurt Russell. And there's Goldie. Dan Quayle, former vice president. Samuel L. Jackson, Hall of Famer Yogi Berra, holding an Elvis Pez Spencer. Golfing legend and rock and roller, Alice Cooper. Football star, rushing star, Emmett Smith. Hey, it's Carlton Banks. And Michael Bolton. We may have to get an Elvis Pez dispenser. Oh, that's awesome. Look at the big bozo one. There's another one. Over here, they even have a WWE one with The Undertaker, John Cena, and it looks like The Rock. Oh, that's one of the new ones. I have not found the Elvis one yet. Oh, that's a great shirt. Made in the USA. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Here's another one. We found three. Oh, that's amazing. Mr. Bean. That is so cool. Oh, I think we got to go upstairs. We haven't seen any of this stuff upstairs yet. Oh, look at that. Old Pez candy uniform and a flag made out of Pez wrappers. Looks like you can have a party here. Great advertising. Imagine driving that around. This whole case is signed Pez by celebrities. Let's check out who they have. Right away, I recognize Peter Chris from Kiss. There's John Ratzenberger from Cheers. There's Paul Tuttle from Orange County Choppers. 
John Popper from Blues Traveler. They even got Santa to sign one. These are handmade props from the movie Arthur, the remake with Russell Brand. And then this one with Popeye on top that was hand drawn and put on there by George Wildman who's the in the photo and he drew the comic book um, art of Popeye from 1969 to 1985. And then this is like an Uncle Sam cookie jar made like a Pez dispenser so it's actually really oversized. And then these are mini Pez dispensers. Here this woman designed her shoes with a Pez dispenser heel. So you can see the Statue of Liberty on the back and her name's Camellia Ethic. And the shoe box actually has Pez in it when you buy them. Here's a Pez uniform with the pillbox hat. For five bucks, this place is great. They have a lot of Orange County Chopper stuff in here, so it makes sense that they would have a Pez motorcycle. That is awesome, even on the back of the backrest. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. <laughs> even with Pez dispensers built into it. So I guess while you're riding, you can just reach down there, grab a piece of Pez. I like the lights too, in the wheels. That is an absolutely amazing touch. You can only see it here at the Pez Visitor Center. That's cool, there's some photos of the build. Here's another Pez Girl uniform with white gloves. And then, looks like they had one for, oh wow, giant grasshopper Pez dispenser. Did not expect to see that. I was actually looking for the gentleman's jacket over here. Actually, maybe that was, I thought that was for men, but that looks like that could have been for both or still for the women wearing the pillbox hats. The early, early peppermint ones. In the 1950s. And this piece of art is called Why Mona Lisa Smiles. This place was fun. This was really a lot of fun. And you can really spend quite a bit of time here. They have so many Pez dispensers to take a look at while you're here. And of course, purchase. But tons of really historic ones on display. And it's too bad I came here on a Sunday or I would have loved to have seen some of the factory working down there. This is interesting, I've never seen these before. They're Pez and you can actually buy little outfits and you wrap around them. See that? Oh cool, vintage Pez dispensers. Pez machines, look at that. And then this one, not only did you get the Pez candy, but you can actually pick out the dispenser as well. You see down here. Same with this one. This one has better selections even. You got Goofy, Mickey, Popeye, and Frankenstein as your options there. Can I just put my money in now? <laughs> and the Pez gum, Pezzy gum. the German machine or the Austrian machine I mean never did find that Elvis Pez dispenser maybe that was a limited time thing couldn't find one while I was here oh, I noticed this on the floor too I didn't see this one before the 
look over here. We found another one. I guess I could get a LeBron Space Jam one. Probably not though. I think we're probably gonna call it a day here at the Pez Visitor Center. Even though I could easily stay here all day hanging out. This was definitely worth a stop. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. This was just a lot of fun. Thank you all for watching. If you're new here, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and please ring the bell for notifications. We'll see you all next time. Have a great night and goodbye.